Welcome to Talladega for the Aaron's 499. Previously in last season, I swept Talladega winning the Aaron's 499 and the Geico 500. Talladega's the biggest track in the whole thing. There's the victory lane. Uh, cars end up on pit road or pit row, whatever you want to call it. Oh, uh, there's again all the cars and pit boxes and stuff. You can see the planes doing their flying stuff. Big straightaway. Look at how massive this track is. I start first, number 42, Target. Kyle Busch, second, number 18, M&M's. Danny Patrick, third, number 10, Go Daddy. And fourth, Carl Edwards, number 99, Ford EcoBoost. There's the trophy for the winner, and let's get this race underway. So two Chevys, a Toyota and Ford for the top four. I just brake checked that whole line behind me. On purpose, obviously. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. up high. Danny Patrick down low. Kyle Busch leading out here early. Carl Edwards trying to block me down low. I gotta have some fun if I'm, I have a setup that I can just pull away from everybody early right now if I wanted to. Ooh! Caution's out. I spun Carl Edwards, then I get into Kyle Busch after the incident. Yo, don't spin me now. <laughs> don't spin me now. See, there you go. Look, I just cut down. There's Carl Edwards, but the key thing here is he spun into traffic, and when you spin into traffic, this time most of them avoided it, but lots of times you spin someone in the middle of traffic, especially at Talladega, there's going to be a big wreck, but this time there wasn't such a big thing that came out of that. So we're going to find out where am I. Kyle Busch still first. Um, a lot of drivers took to the pits and Carl Edwards is 43rd now. Oh, there's Kyle Busch. You can see his car is all scratched up. But my car is a bit too... If you get a car to wreck in the front, it's going to cause a mess in the back of the field. It's just that simple. Especially they wreck in that first corner up here. Yeah, if they get hit into like this wall up here. Now me and Kyle Bush are just pulling away with the lead now. I did the same thing to Kyle Busch that I did to Carl Edwards. He goes for a big spin across the uh, wall. So there you go. It's me and Kyle Busch, both for the lead. And you can see I gotta go up there. I'm trying to go up there and boom. Oh my god. Was that a hit you do not want to ever have? Right in the back of your car, you're just... He's tumbling all around. I want that outside line again. Where's Kyle Busch down to? Oh, Carl Edwards is still the same position. Uh, Kyle Busch is only down to 23rd. Not that bad for... Spinning the whole infograss. He decided not to pit, I guess. That was his key thing right there. If he decided to pit, he would have fell. I can further now. Ryan Truex next to me. See, now that's the kind of wreck that you're looking for here at Talladega. That is a big wreck. That is the Talladega-style wreck. See, I just, I bounce off the wall and come down into Casey Kane. 
into those guys. And look at that, they're all just spinning around back there. That's a big one at Talladega. Let's see where I get placed in the field. I was considered part of it. No, I was not. I was not part of the wreck. See, Kyle Busch is back up to 12. Uh, Carl is still struggling down the 37th. So there's Matt Kenseth. Kenseth. And to the side of Kenseth, I drive. Driving hard. See, I am turned right down. My wheels are facing Kenseth's car. You see, that's the thing. He broke loose of his line. He's like, nah, I'm not doing this. He was not going to be the wrecked car in this corner. Or is he going to be? Yes, he is. Caution is out behind me. They're all spinning. I want to have a little bit of fun. That's the thing. I could have done this real serious and led the whole thing. That's the thing. You send them up into traffic like I did there. And that's the kind of wreck that makes Talladega interesting. Send them into traffic. Don't pit. Nope, don't pit. I don't want to pit. On the outside line. Mike McDowell gets the inside. Where is Kyle Bush? So see, Kyle Bush worked his way all the way back from the field. And so he had to bell down seven. Oh, because, yeah, he got hit in the rack. That's right. That's right. So that there was the final caution. Now whatever happens, happens, essentially. You wreck, you wreck. Michael McDowell gets spun in the corner and I pull away with the win. That happens then. Almost got spun by Vickers myself there. Remember, the thing of you when you're in really does come into play at this kind of track. Let's see, with those cars spinning, that really does slow me down. But I did come up from 20th to 1st in one lap, so... Here at Talladega once, but not getting stuck behind Paul Menard. David Gilliland here, who was on his roof during, um, the other thing, qualifying. We had a big wreck during that. No, I'm not going to win this for sure. No, not anymore. Not like this. Not like this. I'm out of the race, that's for sure. Brian Vickers looks like he might cash his ticket into uh, the thing, or Kurt Busch can move up in the points. Let's see which one of those things happens. Will Brian Vickers punch a ticket, or will Kurt Busch get more points going into the chase? Kurt Busch gets more points going into the chase. I ruined my scoreboard. It only says Lars. Boom, finish 26. Now let's see what happens to the points now that Kurt Busch has two wins and I have a bad finish. I led most of this race too. If I didn't try to wreck those cars. That does not shuffle up that much, but points do get a bit closer with Kurt Busch right there. Marcus Ambrose moved up. 
Um, what happened? Every C fell down. Bush moved up four though. Cole Witt stayed in his position. Dale Earnhardt Jr. He's on the edge now. I mean, with only one win, one pull, and one top ten, he cannot fall back past here. Nobody would win back here, right? It'd be wild if Michael and at one. <laughs> now, so we're gonna change the paint scheme now. We're gonna go with the regular red car. We're gonna run that for a couple races: Kansas, Charlotte, Charlotte, Dover, Pocono, Michigan. So until we get to Sonoma, we're running this paint scheme. Once we get to Sonoma, Kentucky, and Daytona, we're gonna run silver. In Hampshire, we're gonna run Clorox. And here we're going to run Clorox, so we will see what happens now that we go to Kansas.